Premiere Pro. Sometimes it can make you feel a little bit like this, especially when you're doing subtitles. I made a video a little while ago explaining how to do subtitles in a pretty easy way, and then it dawned upon me. What if I did the exact same thing, but better? One million views! That's like the most viewed video on the whole internet. Now you won't believe this. You won't. You simply won't. I'm gonna make a video that's even better than that one. This has literally been years of hard work. Finally, I've nailed it now, and I'm ready to share it with you guys. I'm so excited! Oh shit. But listen, listen. Enough fooling around, let's get on with the tutorial. <laughs> Before we start, I want to show you what we're going to do today. We're going to create three presets. We're going to create a blank one with all the text settings, one with the pop-in effect, and one which is completely customized to be your own kind of subtitle effect. And luckily for all you lazy people out there, these presets have already been put onto an editing pack, which the link is in the description. That gives you free access to not only these presets, but also a free trial version of this motion graphics pack, which I really vouch for, which gives you presets on After Effects, Premiere Pro, the simple drag and drop kind of things. And they really just add this extra element of production quality to your videos without any effort from you. So go and check that out, please. It's free, you idiot. First thing we're gonna do is open up Premiere Pro. I'm currently making a gaming video, so what better time than to show you how to do some subtitles. So let's open that up. As you can see, I've already chopped up some of this footage. Some of it, not all of it. Hey. Kind of Fortnite dancing hey. now. Hey. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the text file that has all of the settings that we want just preloaded on there and then we're going to save that as a preset so that next time we bring up a project we can literally just drag and drop it on there and bam you've got all your settings just so press t on the keyboard and then click in the playback window and then you've got your text ready to go so let's type in there what what else were we going to type let's be honest now that we've got our text typed out we're going to make sure that we've selected it on the timeline so look there poop is selected then we're going to go over to the left here where it says text and we're gonna bring that window down. And then that's gonna show us these options centrally aligned, very important. Drag the text into the middle, hold control to make this easier. And then we're gonna change the font of that text. Now at the moment I'm using Montserrat and I'm changing the font style to black. Uh, nice and thick text, we like that nice and thick. Stroke, yes, drag it to black, make that about 14. Shadow, yes, make it to black, make that leave it like that <laughs> maybe this is a bad example because we've got a dark background but anyway just it'll, it'll look great that's perfect that's all we need to do for this bit we're gonna right click text where it says poop save preset and then we're gonna call this preset blank because it has no animation on it it doesn't have that pop in effect so blank okay then when you go up to your effects window and head on to preset you'll see that right away there it is blank perfect now to make those juicy juicy poppins <gasps> So we're going to scroll down from these settings and we're going to go to scale. Start the keyframe. One. And then go forward four frames. One, two, three, four. Change the scale to 110 and then click away from that and it'll create a new keyframe. And then go forward three frames and create another one at 100. And then look at this. We're going to click this button to go back to the previous keyframe. We're going to go to that beginning one and set that to... Yeah, we're going to set it to 70. Look at that. Poop. Now, same thing again. Right click. Save main you don't have to call it this i'm just using it as an example so call it whatever you want we're going to set this to anchor to endpoint this is basically going to make sure that those keyframes are always at the beginning of the text file that you then drag and drop it onto and then in the effects panel we're going to right click and create a new presets bin we're going to call it pop ins flank and main drag and drop both of those presets into that folder and look at that we have them both ready for future use beautiful now it's time to actually use these presets and show you what we've just been working towards now just imagine that you're on your next project and you haven't done any subtitles yet literally just started you've cut everything up and you're about to start putting subtitles in this is where shit really hits the fan literally and it goes everywhere so press t and click in the playback window that then creates this text file at the bottom here zoom in a bit and you'll see that it's empty we don't actually have any text on the screen even though there is a text box and that will show if you hover over it look there it is we don't want to touch that we don't need that it's invisible it doesn't matter so let's just imagine that i'm just chatting shit the whole video not far off my actual channel we're going to drag that file we created all the way out to let's just imagine that's the end of the video there then what you got to do is go through all of the video and just cut up this one text file into parts where you think you'd need a new subtitle if that makes sense so oh this mic is going to sound absolutely ah uh, so for me i like to have it quite short so i'm going to have like ah uh, as one subtitle and i'm going to cut there so ah uh, oh this mic is this mic is going to sound going to sound 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Ass. Ass. Okay. You see what I mean? You go through the whole video doing that. All right. Here, here we f***ing go. Ready? Select all of those. Okay? Go to effects. Go to your pop-ins folder. Main pop-in. Drag. Drop. Bam! Oh, this mic is gonna sound absolutely ass. What the f*** is this? Every single cut we made is basically creating a new pop-in effect, and it's all centrally aligned. All you have to do now is press T on your keyboard, double click on the text that you need to change, and then change it to whatever you're saying. So, ah. Uh, oh, this mic. This mic. It's gonna sound. Is gonna sound. Sound ab absolutely. Uh, ass. And the great thing about it is that you can edit it really easily. You can shuffle them around just by doing a bit of this. Oh, this mic is going to sound absolutely ass. Also worth noting that if perhaps you were playing with friends and you wanted different colored text for each of them, you could just save presets with the same pop-in with different colored text so that when you're chopping up your friend's subtitles, all you have to do is highlight the ones you want and then drag and drop that new preset on there. Do the same with the rest of the text files and then you're going to have different colored text depending on the person that's speaking in the game. That is possibly the easiest way that you can do subtitles without using the new auto captioning feature on Premiere Pro. I personally don't like the new captions feature. I think it can be great for different types of content, but for gaming videos, you really need that ability to be able to just throw your text around and do whatever the fuck you want with it. And captions just doesn't give you that option. All you have to do is basically just go in throughout the whole timeline and just retype whatever's being said. That's how I do my subtitles now, if I ever do them. Meanwhile. Oh God, I need to take a break. What the? You're not a Finn? Of course I'm not a Finn. Do I look like a Finn? I thought special guest meant Finn. Come on, I'm not a Finn, okay? Well, who the hell are you? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm Jam Finn. Oh, yeah, you're, you're that fish guy. You're that fish guy that Finn kept talking about. Yeah, yeah, I know who you are. Dude, yeah, he told you about, about your farts. farts. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, he did. He really did. Yep. So I heard you make pretty cool subtitles. Yeah, and I heard you make pretty cool farts. So Finn told me that you want to learn how to do super smooth subtitles. Well, good thing I know how to do those, because I can teach you. Okay, anyways, here we are in Premiere Pro. And my ever-growing yearn for super sexy subtitles is still left unsatisfied. To fix it, all you have to do is bring in a text layer like normal. To add a text layer, press T on your keyboard and click anywhere on the playback window. Then type in whatever you want the text to say and customize it to your liking, making sure that it's aligned in the center. To start off the animation, go to the very beginning of your text layer. Add one keyframe. Now you're gonna to wanna to go to the middle of your text layer and add two more keyframes right next to each other. Now go to the very end of that text layer and add one more. All right, now look at this. Okay, it's not moving at all because we didn't add any positional values. We can fix that. Go to the very first keyframe, drag it all the way down so that the text is all the way off screen. Go to the very last keyframe and do the same exact thing so that you can't see it anymore. Now it should look like this. Okay, that wasn't very smooth at all. To fix this, we can use what's called velocity. Press the little triangle to the left of your keyframe button and then a graph should appear. Now select your second keyframe and then drag the bar down all the way to the left so that it looks like this. Do the same thing with your third keyframe, but this time drag it all the way to the right. And now would you look at that? It's so smooth, but if we want to add motion blur, we're going to have to add transform. To do this, go to your effects panel and type in transform. Just like that. Once you see transform, click and drag that effect onto your text layer and then do the same exact thing we just did with the keyframes, but this time on the transform effect. Once you have it all smooth just like this, then go down to the shutter angle and drag that all the way to 360. And now, you should have really smooth motion blur on it. Okay, I think that's all. Back to you, Finn. Okay. Back to it. Now onto the final step, which is the reason why I think this video has been worth making again. So strap in, you goddamn idiot. So basically, to summarize this section really quickly, what we're going to do is we're going to use that blank preset that we made with just the text settings on it, and then we're going to drag on a transform effect. And we're going to explore what we can do with these variables here to make your own customized pop-in effect. It can be literally any kind of pop-in you want with lots of different variations. And then in that section of the transform tool, you're going to be able to make any keyframes you want, something like what the lovely JamFam showed us earlier. And then we're going to ultimately save that as a preset so that when you make a video from scratch again, all you have to do 
is drop the blank preset on that we made earlier, and then drag your own customized preset on top of that, and every single bit of text will have it. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I have made a preset pack with loads of different animation styles on there. And the way to import these is simply just to right click over in the effects panel and then click import presets. Once you've done that, all you have to do is select the file that is in the download pack and that's it. So go check it out. It's literally free. I don't even need salesman Finn to, to do this. Oh. Just one thing before you go though, if for any reason you want to change the position of the text, so let's say it's in the center of the screen, then you have to note down what the number on the position of the text is in this box, and then put the same number in on the position and also the anchor point on the transform box, so that they're both the same all the time. That way you don't get any weird looking pop-ins or, you know, anything like that. Ugh. Okay, we've really been through a lot, and I feel like we figured out the best way to do subtitles. Full stop. I don't give a shit about the Premiere Auto captions, it's not... Not good enough yet. Adobe, if you're watching this, allow us to drag and drop those presets onto those captions and you'll make our lives way easier. So please listen to your community. You sons of bitches! Anyways, that's it. I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video all the way through to now. I really appreciate it. The main takeaway from this video is that you should be able to be completely creative with this. The transform tool is amazing in Premiere and you can really do a lot with it. And now you know how to create your own presets with it. So you can share those with your friends or just use them for yourself every time you start a project. You don't have to worry about going through any of the text settings ever again. You literally just drag and drop it on there. Some of you may have watched my last video that came out about how to use a camera and the outro exported funny and it all glitched out and didn't look good it was a real nightmare so i'm gonna reuse that outro right now let me just do the transition into it real quick okay thanks for watching the video what are you doing here get the hell out of here go on get out of here you get out of here go on get the hell out of here what are you doing what are you doing get out of here get out of here Shake just a little bit faster